Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I will show you how to collect emails with Framer and how to create an input field with Framer. Now, Framer has a very limited way of creating input fields, um, but before we get started, obviously you can get 25% on Framer yearly subscription with our code down below, and you can also open up a free account with our link down below on Framer. So, how can you actually create an input field in Framer? Now, what I like to do is I like to go to the search. So if I go to insert here, I can go to the search and I can just type in input. And as you can see here, I have two different inputs. I like this page a lot. So I'll just add this page right here. As you can see, this is the page that I'm talking about. Now, um, Framer does have limited input, um, input field uh, capabilities. So if you go here and if you click on sign up, for example, as you can see here, we can change what will say in the sign up. And we can also change the button color. So let's say we want to do it like this, right? We want this type of color. Okay, we can do it like that. We can go back. The text can also be changed here as well, but we want to make it white. Now on the uh, this right here, email address, you can click here and you can also change this as well. Like it can be uh, black. Obviously, uh, it can be also the fill can be different value and the placeholder right here as well. Now, obviously that's just a part of what you can do with input field, right? It's very simple. You can also change here uh, font. So let's say we want light font. We can change light. If we go to here to sign up, we can also change it to regular, for example, right? So we can do that. We can uh, increase the font size if we want. We can also have padding if we want or not. Um, now here, as you can see, in order for this to work, you will need to create a MailChimp account to connect it with. So if you watch our previous videos, you will know that you need to actually uh, have a MailChimp account or any other account if you want to go and if you want to connect this URL uh, or connect this so that, you know, whenever someone goes and inputs an email address, it will come into your MailChimp or into our email marketing software. Now we've created a video on how to connect Framer with ConvertKit, with MailerLite, with MailChimp, and with other uh, email marketing softwares as well. So you can check that out as well. But this is pretty much, you know, how you can use an input um, field in Framer. Um, again, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you want a 25% on a yearly Framer subscription, you can do that with our code down below, or you can open up a free Framer account with our link down below as well. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next video.